This is the back of the subframe because of the differential bushing that goes here. This is the front. I thought around all four corners that it had a collar, like these front pieces that I messed up on. But the backs are smoothed down or the fronts are smoothed down. So it helps if you turn your subframe upside down to take out the center part of the bushings. So I'll show you how. You're gonna wanna get the washer with the lip, right? And then, oh, there it is. You wanna get your washer with the lip and get the bigger piece, the bigger cup and the smaller rod. Then you wanna push it underneath. Now make sure you have enough thread. You guys can see that. Make sure you have enough thread coming through. Hang on. So you're gonna wanna make sure you lube both sides. Okay. Make sure. Put it in like that and get my washer. So you wanna put it under like that. Have some threads exposing. Get your collar with the, well, your washer with the lip. Put it down on there. Put your washer and then get your bolt or nut, my bad. Get your nut, tighten it down. it's all tight on both sides and then get your 7 8 wrench 7 8 socket deep socket with a breaker bar and you want to put your wrench on the bottom part so it doesn't go anywhere and then you're going to start turning so what that collar with the lip, or washer with the lip is doing, is pushing down on the center part of the bushing. So, just like that. You're gonna be here a while, turning. But you start to see that it is pushing it down, the center part. So you start seeing that it is, if you can see in there, let me step back a little bit, yeah, so you can actually see that the uh, washer with the lip is actually pushing it down, so. You just want to keep turning, make sure you're have a flat surface. And then you start hearing the rubber cracking. getting a lot easier to turn now and then start just keep turning until you hear it drops until you hear it drop and then you'll see 
the hole is gone. Completely empty. And your bushing is in here. So. Tighten the bolts. Or not. <laughs> totally a bolt. And. Voila. And you can see where it was actually tearing the bushing at the side, right there on both ends. And then you gotta use this other one, the bigger die. This one to clear that one out. But I have to order another one or try to get another one because as you can tell, I bent this one pretty bad. And yeah, strip, yeah. So I'm gonna have to get another one or see if I can find one around here. So, yep, I just wanted to give you guys that quick update. It's fucking cool. And I did get some propane and for a torch just in case, backup plan. So we'll see how it turns out. Um, it just, with these right up here, they are a lot, uh, they have a lot more rubber because this is the back part of the subframe. So these are the ones that are giving me a lot of trouble right now. So, but, I'm gonna see if I can order that other piece or see if I can find one 